I would like to bring to our consideration the life of Jacob. Jacob is Jewtan in this scroll and Kutna. It's not that study on the life of Jacob, but in the light of this. Ikra Jacob Jewt Jewtan in this scroll and the Kani Manu Intan Vaakhe Bilu Vaakhe Bilu Vaakhe Bilu Vaakhe Bilu ఏరీతిగా దేవుడు యాకోబు తో కలిసి జీవి పని చేశాడు చూస్తున్నాం యు నో వెన్ వి లుక్ అట్ ద లైఫ్ ఆఫ్ జేకబ్ మన యాకోబు జీవితం చూసినప్పుడు వి కెన్ సీ హిమ్ యాజ్ అ డిసోబీడియెంట్ చైల్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ అతడు యాజ్ వి బిగిన్ టు సీ హిస్ లైఫ్ అతడు అవిధేయుడైన దేవుని బిడ్డగా కనబడుతున్న ఆరంభంలోనే హి వాస్ అన్ అనాయింటెడ్ సర్వెంట్ అభిషేకించబడిన సేవకుడు యు నో హు సిన్స్ బ్రాట్ హిమ్ అండ్ హిస్ ఫ్యామిలీ టు రాక్ బాటమ్ అతని యొక్క పాపములు తను తనను తన కుటుంబాన్ని క్రిందకు అట్టడుగు చేసి పడేసింది you know in other words his disobedience amaro matla atani yok avidheyata brought him and his family to rock bottom atani ni atani kutumbani attadugu teesukochesi you know as we have heard before man mundu vinnam kada his heart was in the right direction atani yok hrudayam sarena dishalo unnadi but his life was in the right direction atani jeevitham ala ledu maatram is his life went the other way atani yok jeevitham maroka laga velutundi because his desires were not same as his heart was atani yok hrudayam lo unnatu ela unnado ala levu atani yok aashalu verega unnai but we see the hand of god resting upon this man gaani devuni yok hastham itana meeda nilichi untunadi it was at bethel that god appeared to him in a very supernatural way betel yandu devudu amanaviya sthitilo devudu atanu kanapadu kalisadu it was there that he saw a ladder reaching into the heavens akkada chusadu kada nichchena aakasham tattukuni velutundi and the angels are sending and descending devunu dootulu digutunnaru ekkutunnaru and he saw the lord speak to him audibly atadu vinunatluga prabhu maatladutunna unnadu Turn with me to the book of Genesis chapter 28. Adi kaandam yero yemda jhay manan choddam. Yes. Genesis chapter 28. Adi kaandam yero yemda jhay mo. Now we see here one thing very clearly. Iku akvishe ne kar chalas pasta ka manan chostu na. You know we read here in chapter 28. Yero yemda jhay lo manan chostu na gada. You know and verse 15. Padhi he no verse no. And behold I am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest and will bring thee again into this land for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of Idigo nenu neeku thode undi nee vellu prathi sthalam mundu ninnu kaapaduchi deshamlaku ninnu marala rappinchedanu nee nenu neethu cheppinadi nerverchu varaku ninnu viduvanu ani cheptanu Now for want of time I am not reading all of the verses here Ikkado samayam ledhu kada anni vasana sadhu If you want please read all these verses uh, you know before this Meeku kavalante meer anni chadavandi dan mundu unna vachana Before this verse you can Ee yeah. padihenu mundu unnatuvanti vachanalu anni kuda daichesi meer chadavandi If you would like to read you can read it and and take time and understand everything very clearly. Oh mere time samayam teesukoni chadivi ardham cheskondi andi. You know so we see that Jacob had to leave his house. Yakob than illu vadilu pettalsi ichindi. You know and he had to leave and go because of what he did. Athara chesina panini batte athara vadilu pettu ellalsi ostundi. His his brother Esau was very angry with him. Athani annayya Esau chaala koopam tho unnadu. You know that he took the birth right and the blessing from the father atadu tana anna daggar nunchi janma hakku teesukunnadu tandri daggar nunchi aashirwadam teesukunnadu and so his brother was very angry andukosu yeshu chala koopam unnadu the result was that he was counseled to leave and go and akkado nu ame rechel annadu kada vedulu pottu ellipo annadu and he left the home and he went adar illu vedulu pottu ellipoyadu and then we see him you know having a vision or a dream akkadu darshanam kaligindi you know verse 12 we read that 12th and 12th verse nu manu chodachu i said for want of time i'm not reading all that samayam ledhu kabatti nenu chadavale pothunnanu and the lord spoke to him prabhu antnadu kada behold i am with thee nen neetho unnanu okay let me just read that let me read verse 12 onwards and he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of god ascending and descending on it and behold the lord stood above it and said i am the lord god of abraham thy father and god of isaac the land whereon thou liest to thee will i give it and to thy seed and thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth 
and thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed and behold i am with thee and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest and will bring thee again to this land for i will not leave thee until i have done that which i have spoken to thee of now we will not read in hindi to save time okay so this is what the lord spoke to him ee matalu 12 nunchi 16 varaku prabhu cheptunnaru you know so may i say one thing here that the lord validated from heaven paralokam nundi itni yokka jeevithamunaku pushti chestunnadu yes god himself giving the assurance to jacob devudu taane yes yakobu ku nischedistunnadu that henceforth he is to be to be the recognized vehicle of the promise vagdhanamunaku sadhananga atadu unnadani gurtinchadaniki ayina ala chestunnadu he is the channel aine sadhanam ayyunnadu he is the person athane sadhanam ayyunnadu to whom the promise will be fulfilled athane dwara ne vagdhan nerveshapadutundi given to abraham isaac abraham isaac laku ivabodinatundi vagdhanam yakub dwara poothunnadu he was running away from his brother tanu sahodaru nunchi paripothunnadu and he was going through this difficult time ee kathinamaina samayamlo chelipothunnadu the lord validated that the call of god upon this man's life itni meeda devuni yokka pilupu unnadani ani nirdharistunnadu the letter was a hint that the promise would culminate in something that would bridge heaven and the earth ayakka sapnam yokka ardham emitunante paralokamunakunu bhoomikini adi marg sadhanam entadi ani jesus said he is that ladder yesu bro unnadu kada nena nichinu as we read in the gospels suvarthalo manu chadinapudu kanapadutundi so jacob thought you know if you look at his age yakob yokka vayasu manu chusinataithe you know jacob is supposed to be around 77 years at that time athanu vayasu dadapu 77 undochu supposed to be 77 years bahusha 77 samvatsaralu undochu athanu yokka vayasunu i'm much older than me nakante chala ekku vayasu unnadu right so that was his age athanu yokka vayasu adi and uh, he was fleeing from his brother athanu yokka sahodaru nunchi paarpothunadu he was fleeing from his brother in other words sorry athanu sahodaru degi nunchi paarpothunadu athanu you know he 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 wanted to save himself thanu thanu rakshinchukolanu nilipothunadu kaapadukovalani and in on the way darlo god joined himself to jacob yakob todu devudu kalisadu thanu thanu kalupukunnadu hallelujah in his struggle his uh, difficult situation leaving his parents and going away we can see the lord joining himself to jacob athadu thanu yokka kashtalu ochinappudu thallidendrulnu vadulu pettesi ondraga velipothunte devudu athantho kalustunadu god join himself to his enslaved son oh bandiga unnatuvanti thana kumarunu toti devudu kalustunnadu ikkada and pledged to his son thana kumaruniki ayina vagdhanam chestunadu you know as we read verse 15 15th vachana manu chusinappudu he says i am with thee nenu neetho unnanu i will keep thee nenu ninnu badra parustanu in all the places where thou goest nu ye ye sthanam kelinappudu and will bring thee again to this land marla ee deshamu teesukostanu i will not leave thee nenu ninnu vadulu pettanu until i have done that which i have spoken thee of nee gurinchi nenu emaithe palukona avanni jarige varaku vadulu pettanu he never will be or he he would never be dissuaded from fulfilling his word that he has given to him prabhu athani yokka vagdhanam ichina maatan batti ippudu tappi poye vadu kaadu he will never put it off dani teesvese vadu kaadu aa vagdhanamunu he will never deter from what he has spoken to his servant thani yokka daasulu kaini emaithe telijesadu dani nunchi tappinchukodu and so we read verse 16 padhara vachana manu chustunna and jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said surely the lord is in this place and i knew it not yakobu nidral telisi nichchemuga yehova is talamandu unnadu adine adu naaku teliyakopoyina nenu konnanu yes and jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said surely the lord is in this place and i knew it not యాకోబ్ అంటున్నాడు కదా ప్రభు యహోవయ్య స్థలమందు ఉన్నాడు అది నాకు తెలియకపోయాను 
and he was afraid and said adru bhaypadu antadu kada full awesome is this place yenta adbhutamainadi bhayanakamainadi sthalam antadu in other words how awesome is this place yenta bhayam to kurni sthalam idu antadu this is none other none other but the house of god devuni mandirame gaani mari emi kaadu ani cheptunnadu ikkada yes vera okati kaadu antadu This is none other but the house of God the, and this is the gate of heaven. ఇది దేవుని మందిరమే గాని వేరొకటి కాదు పరలోకపు గవిని ఆయన నిచ్చెన అది ఇదే అనుకున్నను. Yes. This is what he said. అతను చెప్పిన మాటలు ఇవి. And then we know all that happened in the following verses. తర్వాత జరిగినటువంటిది ఏంటో మిగిలిన వచనాల ద్వారా తెలుస్తుంది. You know I would just read it will not read it in Hindi to save time and Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it and he called the name of that place bethel but the name of the city was called luz in uh, at first and jacob vowed a vow saying if god will be with me and will keep me in this way that i go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that i come again to my father's house in peace then shall the lord be my god and this stone which i have set for a pillar shall be god's house and of all that thou hast thou shall give me i will surely give the tenth give the tenth unto thee so here we find that he made a vow unto god ఇక్కడ మనసు కనబడుతుంది కదా అతడు దేవునితో వాగ్దానం చేశాడు అక్కడ డ్రాయ్ నిలబెట్టాడు ఆ స్థలాన్ని బేతేల్ అన్నాడు దేవుని మందిరము ఇలా జరిగింది గాడ్ జాన్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ టు దిస్ సన్ దిస్ ఎన్స్లైవ్ సన్ ఈ బందీగా ఉన్నటువంటి కుమారుని తోటి దేవుడు కలుస్తున్నాడు ఇక్కడ అతడుకు వాగ్దానం చేస్తున్నాడు ఇప్పుడు వదిలిపెట్టినాడు అతనికి వాగ్దానం చేయబడిన దగ్గర నుంచి ఎప్పుడు తప్పిపోనని వాగ్దానం చేసి చెప్తున్నాడు అతని జీవితాన్ని మనం చూసినప్పుడు అక్కడి నుంచి పారిపోయాడు అతడు తన మామి గారి దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళిపోయాడు after this wonderful experience he had with the lord prabhu dagre adbhutamaina anubhavam pondina tarvata 20 samvatsaralu gadichipoyya 20 long years 20 samvatsaralu gadichipoyya and when you look into his life tanu jeevitham athu chusukunnapudu 20 long years have been years of trial and sorrow aa 20 samvatsaralu kuda ento kashtalu thonu dukham thone koodu unnai ani athu chusukuntunnadu 20 samvatsaralu there were 20 long years of sorrow and trial for a man who had a tremendous uh, encounter with god devunu todi chakkati darshanam kalayaka kalisinta vyaktiki 20 samvatsaralu ento dukham thonu vedanato jarigipoyani anavasaramga you know where he had a tremendous experience with god devun todi adbhutamaina tuvanti anubhavanu pondadu akada after that aa tarvata 20 years have gone by 20 samvatsaralu gadichipoyayi those 20 years have been tr- years of trial and sorrow a 20 samvatsaralu kuda dukham thonu vedana todu unnai but god was always joined to jacob gaani devudu maatram yakob tho nichyam kalise unnadu the lord had spoken to him i am with thee prabhu antadu kada nenu neetho unnanu i will keep thee in all the places whether thou goest nee vellin chotalla kuda nenu neetho padu untanu antadu and will bring thee back again marla tirigi teesukostanu and i will not leave thee nee ninu vadilipettanu until i have done that which i have spoken nenu maatladina jarigenta varaku odilipettanu you know although those 20 long years were been years of trials and sorrow for jacob yakob ka 20 samvatsaralu ento dukham thonu vedantho koodi unnappudigini god was always joined jacob devudu yakob tho nichyam unnappudigini after leaving bethel bethel odilipettin tarvata jacob had settled down into a life of apathy indifference atanu ento dukham toti atadu nilichi unnada akkada indifference ento vedam toti akkada nilichi unnada ontruga udasinata yes ya udasin having forgotten the glory of his night with the lord 
అద్భుతమైనటువంటి దేవునితోటి అక్కడ చక్కటి కలయిక కలిసిన తర్వాత దేవుణ్ణి వినగలుగుతున్నాడు the voice of god devuni ka swaramnu and that wonderful experience he had atanuki adbhutamaina tund anubhavam kaligi unnadu kada adi jacob had settled down into a, in a into a life of apathy a indifference towards all that god spoke to him devudu atanuki anni cheppina pudikina atadu udaasinatudlo settle ayipoyunnadu he had a long and sordid struggle in his father in law's place taniyaka maavigar inti degara ento dirghamaina tund vedana dukkham tho gadipadu yes he had difficulties with his father in law taniyaka maavigar tho enno kashtalu anipinchalasu vachindi and there was jealousy between his two wives leah and rachel leah rachel ku ee vaar iddaru madhya ento kullumotanu undedi you know so we see that he went through much in his life ee rakanga anekamaina gunda paristhithulu gunda vellaru we read all about that in chapter 30 verse 1 to 43 when you get time you can read that meera tarvata samayam undappudu migilu adhyayalu chadavandi avi you know and then when we look into chapter 31 31va adhyayam chusinappudu when we turn to chapter 31 31va adhyayam chuste we see in verse 13 13va vachanam chustam kada genesis chapter 31 verse 13 adikandam 31 13 this is what the lord said i am the god of bethel nenu bethel yokka devudu after many long years of his struggles 20 samsaralu gadisina taruvatha ento kashtalato gadisina taruvatha antadi mata he was with his father in law atadu tana maavigar degara he went through a lot of struggles there akada ne kashtalu anubinchadu i'm not getting into all the details anni struggles there akada ne kashtalu anubinchadu i'm not getting into all the details anni vivaralu nenu cheppadam ledhu because we are not into a study of the life of jacob akada yakob jeevitha chetrudu man chadavadam ledhu but i want to bring in this thought that god joined with jacob in his struggles tani ఒక కష్టాల్లో దేవుడు అతనితో కలిసి ఉండడం విషయం చెప్తున్నాను. What I would like to highlight is the love of God for his disobedient son here. అవి దేవుడైన తన కుమారుని ఎడల దేవుని యొక్క ప్రేమను నేను చూపించాలి అనుకుంటున్నాను ఇక్కడ. The love of God visiting him and the wall joining with his wall. దేవుని యొక్క ప్రేమ దేవుని యొక్క గోడ ఇతనితో కలుసుకుంటుంది కలిపి పెట్టబడుతున్నది కట్టబడుతున్నది. So here the Lord is coming back again to Jacob in a situation. తన పరిస్థితులు వచ్చినప్పుడు ప్రభు మరలా వస్తున్నాడు ఇక్కడికి. You know here we see in verse 13 I am the God of Bethel. 13వ వచనం అంటాడు కదా నేను బెతేల్ యొక్క దేవుడు. Where thou anointest the pillar and where thou wowest a wow unto me. Now where I get thee out of this land and return unto the land of thy kindred hallelujah hallelujah ni vekkada stambham meeda noonu posithuvu ekkada naaku rokkabadi chesithuvu aa betelu devudanu nene ni ippudu jacob arise yakobu lemmo arise out of your sleep ni yokka nidra nunchi lemmo yakobu you are sleeping in the midst of all your situations ni paristhithula madhyalo nu nidra pothunna yakobu awake o jacob o lemmo jacob awake o jacob yakobu lemmo it is time for you to remember what i have spoken to thee nen nee tho cheppina vishayalu nyapakam cheskuna samayam idi lemmo get the out of this land ee deshamnu vadilapette yes this is what god said idi prabhu cheppina maata i am the god of bethel nenu bethel yokka devudu nenu you made a vow to me nee akkadu mokkukunna now when i is get the out of this land and return akku nunchi lechi nu tirigi mall akkadu vache hallelujah what that word is entha adbhutamaina maata what a word it is entha adbhutamaina maata can you hear that word in your own life nee jeevithala santha maata vinagalutunna can you hear that word aa maata nu vinagalutunna va amen that word that is coming to you in the love of god despite our conditions of disobedience and rebellion man tirugu paatu avidheelu maina pudikini devuni yokka prema tho ostunna maatanu vinagalugutunnava despite that we have ignored the beautiful things god has spoken to us prabhu man tho maatladinatundi sundaramaina maatlu marichipoyam kada despite that word god spoke over you in your baptism nee baptism theesukunnadu prabhu maatladina maatlu marichipoyava word that god spoke to you in your marriage nee vivaham jarigunappudu maatladina maatlu marichipoyava despite that word that god spoke to you in this house in a special way adbhutam vyaktigathanga ee yokka sanghamulu devudni tho maatladina maatlu marichipoyava that glorious night యాకో మర్చిపోడా మహిమ గల రాత్రి దేవునికి చేసిన అతను మృక్కుని కూడా మర్చిపోయాడు 
have you forgotten that neevu kuda marchipoyava god's love is coming to you again marla devunu prema vastundi god's love is coming to me again na yedduku devudu prema marla vastundi remind me of that glorious times that we had with him ayan tho kalisi kalu unnatundi aa mahima gala samayalu gnyapakam chestunnadu this was what god was saying in other words maro maatlo prabhu em cheptunnadu ante jacob yakobu remember how i touched you ninnu ye reethiga thaakanu gnyapakam chesko remember all your promises to me neevu chesina vaagdanalanni naaku that's one thing god wants to say to you ఉద్రేకాలు మాట యాకోబు దగ్గరకు వస్తున్నది Oh may God help us. Prabhu Manasu.